assalamu alaikum this is the second video related to modular multi level converter in the previous video we didn't understand the working principle of modular multi level converter we understand the working principle of each sub module and then we analyze the different we analyze basically that how different levels in modular multi level converter are formed now if we quickly re revise that this is basically a circuit topology of a modular multi level converter uh, we have uh, these are basically arms this is upper arm this is lower arm both the upper and lower arm are connected through inductor with each other and this whole upper and lower arm is called as phase okay so this is a dc to three phase ac converter so this is a typical typical diagram of a modular multi level converter we did see that in the last video uh, we did discuss that how basically the sub module is operated this is the working principle of single phase modular multi level converter we did discuss these equations as well and then we see that how basically the different levels are formed in modular multi level converter this is basically a three level so this was the switching sequence that how basically the sub modules are turned on and off in order to uh, generate different levels and then we see how we can generate eight level modular multi level converter and this is the switching sequence of sub modules so this is a typical diagram of an eight level modular multi level converter now let's come here and simulate this eight level modular multi level converter so this is our simulation model so you see here we have used two two sources this is vdc by 2 and this is also vdc by 2 so if you see in the upper arm basically there are total of uh, seven switches are connected in series and in each switch there is basically in each sub module there are two switches with anti parallel diodes and a capacitor connected in parallel across them across their series connection so this is what in there in sub module this is the gate signal and these are the ports input and output ports these are the gate gate signals to different sub modules this is the upper arm this is the lower arm and we are calling it as a phase okay both the upper and lower arm connected are connected with the with the inductor and we have a rl load now if we run this module model we are running this model so this is the output voltage waveform this is the output voltage waveform and this is the output current waveform this is the output current waveform so if we see here the fft analysis of this eight level modular multi level converter let's see for the output voltage so 
sorry for the output voltage we see the THD is this and for the current the THD is low as compared to the voltage why because the load is inductive the load is inductive so we know that current uh, the inductor act as a current filtering device so our total harmonic distortion of the voltage is greater than the total harmonic distortion of current so this is a this is basically a eight level modular multi level converter there are total seven sub modules in the upper arm seven sub modules in the lower arm and we have a rule of thumb that if we use n number of sub modules in the upper arm and n in the lower arm we will get n plus 1 levels so this is this is enough for the simulation of 8 level modular multi level converter we will see in the next video how we have designed the control technique we have used here nearest level modulation in the next video we will see so that's all for the simulation of 8 level modular multi level converter